Outside the White House, hundreds gather to celebrate. In Times Square and Ground Zero in New York, jubilant crowds chanting USA. My son just returned home from Afghanistan as a Marine about two weeks ago. And it was 9-11 that propelled him to join the Marine Corps to begin with. And to hear this news today, it's amazing. Uh, it's, it's a page turn for America today. And around the world, leaders were also swift to weigh in on the death of Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Laden was responsible for the death of thousands of innocent men, women and children right across the world. People of every race and religion. Uh, Osama bin Laden, Daraka uh, Mayot. Bin Laden received his due punishment, says Afghan President Hamid Karzai. His hands were dipped in the blood of thousands and thousands of children, youths, and elders of Afghanistan. President Obama ordered the operation without notifying Pakistan's Inter-Services Intelligence Agency. This was the time when the U.S.-Pakistan relations uh, were at the lowest point in its history. It could have been possible that uh, uh, Pakistani ISI would have thought that uh, uh, Osama bin Laden's capture and the death uh, would uh, actually help salvage the U.S.-Pakistan relations at this moment. In Indonesia, the world's most populous Muslim nation, there is hope from citizens that bin Laden's death will help Islam's image. The assumption of Western countries that Islam is synonymous with violence has begun to erode, says this Jakarta resident. The Australian Prime Minister echoing the sentiments of many world leaders, terrorism experts and victims' families. Whilst Al-Qaeda has been hurt today, Al-Qaeda is not finished. Our war against terrorism must continue. Pakistan's foreign ministry says the death of Osama bin Laden shows the resolve of his country and the world to battle terrorism. Noel Wagg, or the Associated Press.